Hey, welcome to this Windows channel, and yes, it's the return of the good news, bad news of the week. After having many requests, I am happy to actually uh, return this. Uh, you know, sometimes we have to do little tests to see if people miss uh, one or the other, and um, you know, sometimes you just stop and you see if people tell you, hey, what happened to? And uh, it seems that a lot of you are enjoying this uh, little feature, so it's back to stay. On every Friday's the good news, bad news of Microsoft of the week. So here we talk about the blenders, the bad things, and the good things that Microsoft can do every week. And the uh, good news uh, this week, well, we have of course the details on the cumulative update. That was the first cumulative update that was not on a patch Tuesday that had these details, and that was interesting because usually we had details on patch Tuesday's updates but we did not have any details on the cumulative updates that we had in Windows. Now this week we had a cumulative update and well it actually is detailed what it does and uh, I think that's cool and it's cool to see that Microsoft listens to what we want and uh, that's very interesting. Also in the good news this week, Microsoft taking the side of Apple. That is kind of surprising in a way and not because the Apple versus FBI case has a deep impact on all technology. So Microsoft will also be asked to give an unencrypt, unencrypt you know, computers and phones and all sorts of uh, devices if Apple loses this case. So it's nice to see that they've uh, actually gone to help Apple out and actually even uh, released a few uh, papers, apparently legal papers, to send to uh, help um, Apple against the FBI. So that's pretty cool. And another tidbit of good news uh, is that the cumulative update we had this week, um, I, I, I see it with my own clients. There are a few of my clients that had some glitches, but you know they didn't want to necessarily um, you know, ask me to go and check it out, so they they just lived with it a little bit. And a few of them have called me to say, "Hey, I've had some problems, and uh, the cumulative update this week seems to have fixed everything." And also, some people I've been seeing in the forum saying, "Hey, my uh, start menu wasn't working, and since the cumulative update this week, it's back to normal." You know, this cumulative update has a lot of bug fixes. It's not a security issue. Uh, it's really mostly bug fixes for all sorts of Windows 10 little glitches. So I think that uh, if you have a few problems or, you know, if you had problems with Windows 10, I think this update really will help you in getting a more stable uh, Windows 10 for those that had problems. Uh, in my case, I don't really have any problems right now. So it, you know, just was an update like anything else. And of course, uh, check it out might fix some of the glitches you've been uh, seeing. On the bad news of Microsoft this week, what the hell does Bill Gates do when saying, hey, uh, no, I support FBI and the FBI versus Apple case. Look, you're director of the board, you know, he's a member of the, the, the board of directors at Microsoft. I think, Bill Gates, you know what, it's time to retire from there leave Microsoft alone, it's going in a direction, a new direction, very different from what it was before. And, you know, just continue with your philanthropic stuff and give your billions away to the world to help in some ways. I think uh, that's, you know, that's what you do best. And I think that's what you should do, Bill Gates. I'm sorry, but uh, your time at Microsoft, personally, I think should be over. And so uh, stop saying anything like that especially going against Microsoft also. That's kind of uh, interesting. And of course, another little <clears throat> bad news for uh, Microsoft is the fact that we've learned a little more details this week. We've learned details that, okay, Redstone, well, still in June. So we know that the Redstone first Redstone wave or update will be this June. But it does seem that, um, <coughs> sorry, it does seem that um, the major new features of Redstone will only be in the spring of 2017 
So we'll have a lot less to view in this update in June, which is kind of interesting and a little sad. Uh, you know, we were expecting a lot on that Redstone update. Now, the more we learn, the more it seems it's going to be a, it's a smaller update for Windows 10. So it's going to be interesting to see what actually is new in that Redstone update in June. And in another little tidbit of bad news this week, of course, is Microsoft finally saying, hey, yes, we are killing the Android bridge to Windows 10. We're not going to support that. And so lots of speculation here about what could be, you know, the, the reasons. Uh, some people saying, well, you know, it seems that maybe they're scared that micro the Windows 10 users would go more on um, Android apps than using Windows Store apps and stuff like that. If that would be the case, they would kill iOS, I think. Um, I don't think that's the reason, because they would really kill iOS, uh, which is, you know, sending Apple app store apps to windows 10 and um so you know i i don't know it's very very curious maybe there's some glitch or something that's different that didn't work well or i don't know some kind of problem with google maybe you know google and microsoft are two companies that don't like each other so i wouldn't be surprised that google that owns android and all of that isn't working or really well with microsoft and they decided well the hell with you know Android stuff but uh, no Android apps will be sent to Windows 10 unless they reprogram it totally so that's pretty much the good news bad news for this week for March 4th 2016 if you enjoy my videos why not subscribe you'll be informed when new videos are online give us thumbs up if you like the videos and if you have any comments questions suggestions maybe a feature of Windows you'd like to see let us know and we'll try to post that video online thank you for following us 